another funny story is, yeah, so after we finished, we was working on the song, he goes, man, I really want a rapper. You know, I need a rapper on the song. So I was like, well, maybe you want like Tretch from Naughty by Nature. You know, I said, no, no, I need somebody, somebody harder or something. I said, well, you, you want like Notorious Big, B.I.G.? Yeah, 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 what about him? You know, so I call, so I call Puff. I'm like, hey, I'm working with Michael Jackson stuff, man. Um, you want Biggie to do a rap, man? You send him out here? He's like, yeah, I'm sending him now. So Biggie comes out. Me and Biggie riding around in the car, uh, listening to the song. He's writing the rap and smoking weed. And he's like, I just can't believe I'm sitting here with you guys, you know? And after he, he read, after he says the rap to me, he's got like, you know, a bunch of cuss words and niggas and toting, to toting guns and all this stuff is in the rap. Listen, I got problems off my own. Uh, flashing cameras, taps on my phone. Uh, even in my home, I ain't safe as I should be. Things always missing. Maybe it could be my friends. They ain't friends if they robbing me. Stopping me from making the profit. See, Apollo cheese, shallow like the ocean. I guess I resort to gun tote. If I was dead broke and smoking, I'd probably be by my lonesome. I'm a killer nigga, I ain't joking. In those smoke got me choking. I'm hoping the food comes slipping so I can blow them open. This time around, I changed up my flow. Got rid of the rocks, got pits by the dough. A real set of people to watch my back. Stay away from strangers so I won't slack. And I know my nigga might like that. Amen. So I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I, I don't know if this is gonna fly with Michael because he's got so many cuss words and you talk about gun toting and everything else and Indo smoke and <laughs> so as I tell you what though, let's just. Do it for him. Let's go in there and lay down the rap once and just let him hear it. You know, so he goes in, he takes the first take, he does the rap. Um, I was like, well, let's let him hear it before we do the rest of it. So Michael comes in and hears it, and I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, this is you know, kind of embarrassed in one sense because it's got so much, so many street words in it. Then Michael just goes, oh my God, this is perfect. I love it. That's exactly what I wanted to say. So I was like, there it is. <laughs> so to this day, as we listen to this time around, you hear Biggie. You know, with all his, with all the gangster lyrics, and then Michael was just like, he just loved it to death. Well, you were you were in the studio with Biggie and Michael Jackson doing a song together. That that must have just been such a historic. It was point in time. And then Big keeps asking me, "Yo, man, can I? You think I can meet Mike?" And I'm like, "Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm sure he wants to meet you too." So Mike comes in the room finally and meet him, and he's just like, "Wow!" Like his life. And Biggie at that point was like 19, I think. Yeah. 